Yo, what's up guys? It's DJ Rick Webb. I'm so excited to be making this video because I'm showing you guys my brand new custom DJ booth. Now, first off, first off, I need to address the biggest concern here, the biggest issue, the biggest elephant in the room right here with this. It's not a facade. Oh! Jokes aside, this is my new custom DJ booth featuring two Rain 12s as well as a Pioneer DJM S9 center mixer. Oh yeah, kind of forgot to mention on the channel that I've had Rain 12s now and a Pioneer S9 since like October. Um, yeah. Oh, and yes, to answer your question, I am still trash at scratching, so don't at me. Or if you do, at me on Instagram at DJ Rick Webb. Or follow me. Yo, what up, guys? Ricky's editor here. I just want to go ahead, since he's already plugging, go to shop at DJLife.com to pick up some amazing DJ Life apparel. If you guys want, there's a I Hate Teardowns. First to arrive, last to leave. Like I said, go to shop at DJLife.com to pick up some amazing DJ Life apparel. <laughs> Anyways, let me break down the specs of this bad boy. It is four and a half feet long, two feet wide, 39 inches tall, has rear storage pockets and access to the S9 mixer, a cup holder, removable laptop stand. The top is also removable and it comes with absolutely no fucking warranty because I built the whole thing myself. Yes, as many of you guys know, I actually am an engineer and I designed and built this whole thing myself. In fact, these are actually some of the sketches the original sketches and dimensions that I was thinking about. And uh, overall, this thing took like a whole entire month to actually build from start to finish. If I was working on it every day, it probably could have got it done in about two weeks, but I'm very experienced with woodworking and making this sort of stuff. But anyways, let's get to what you guys really want to see, and that's diving into the innards of this thing to see how this thing is put together. First off, before we take off the top, let's talk about my laptop real quick because I rock a sticker light. This is my custom sticker light. It's literally just a sticker. It lights up. It has multiple functions, whatever. That connector is right here, and that connector feeds into the uh, table right here. So coming out of the cable hole right here, we have three cables. One is that sticker light cable. Two is my laptop charger right here. And the third is this USB type C right here that's coming from the USB hub that's built into the table, which we'll see in a second. So to get inside the table, first off, I got to get rid of my laptop. So now that the laptop's gone, the laptop stand itself is made out of this wood top, which is stained and is the exact same wood as the top itself. And it is connected with gas pipe. So we have a gas pipe screw connector here. We have another one inside of the table and this section of threaded gas pipe on either side. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna unscrew it from the inside one and pull our laptop stand off. And there's a little bit of a better uh, close up to show you guys what that is. Now one last thing before I take the top off, I wanna show you guys the uh, cup holder itself right here. This is actually just a little plastic insert that I cut a hole for and it just slides right down on. That's the cup holder. Pretty clean, pretty easy. Now because I'm actually gonna be fully removing the top, Typically at events when I'm taking this thing out, I have to get inside of it to turn the power uh, strip that's inside this on and off. And normally I'm just kind of popping up the side over here and then reaching in and turning it on. It's actually right here in the front and you guys will see that here in a second. But because I'm taking this fully off, I'm going to feed my uh, cables right here all the way back into the table so that way I can fully remove the top. And now to remove the top, it's as easy as just lifting up. The top is not actually fastened down with anything. I'll show you it's locked in in the corners though. So that's it. Pull it off. And as you guys can see right here in every corner, there's this little corner piece right here and that's what locks it into the inner corners of the tabletop itself so this thing does not actually come off. As well as it locks in the Rain 12s and the S9 right here. Side point, cutting out these slots was by far the biggest bitch and a half in making this whole table. And now with the top off, we can see the innards of how this thing was put together. And everything inside is pre-wired, ready to go for events. So let's first start off with our power, and that is our Furman 6U power strip right here. It is Velcro to the front and powers everything inside of the case. Powers both Rain 12s, the S9, my laptop charger itself, a phone charger that I've yet to put in here. I'm going to run it in there. 
And because I have an S9 that does not have a built-in USB hub, it also powers this Amazon Basic 7 USB powered hub. Right there is the power supply for the USB hub and plugged into the USB hub is all three of the devices here as well as my sticker light controller box right here. And right here is that cable that comes up through and plugs into my sticker light. This right here is the multi-function box that controls all the functions of the sticker light. And then you guys see the other half of the gas pipe uh, connection for the laptop stand right here. And we gotta get audio from our mixer, our decks, out to our speakers, or in my case, to the back rack, which this is done with these two Hosa XLRs right here. These two Hosa XLRs, as well as the power for our power strip, run down along the side and then down the leg and cleanly out of the back right foot right here. This brings up a common question that a lot of people were asking me on Instagram, and that is the fact that these legs right here are not solid. They are made out of plywood. Let me go through my scraps real quick and I will show you guys how that is done. So in an effort to both cut down on weight and to have a way to run those wires down the leg, it was made out of plywood. And what we did was we 45 the length of the plywood. These are just scraps right here. And then that allowed us to join them together like this, making our outside corners. And that is how my legs are made. And we needed every ounce of weight saving with this fit. Now, obviously my turntables and my S9 are not sitting on the bottom of the inside of the table. And that is done with spacers that are below these players. So let me show you that now. So this right here is what underneath of one of the Rain 12's turntables looks like. And that right there is the big storage pocket that you guys see. It basically runs the whole entire length of the table. And our little razors right here are basically just two by fours with a little bit of plywood on top and then I use some screws to kind of hold everything together so that they don't move and shift when we're transporting this. Underneath of the S9 there's actually no access or storage port just because it's so small and it may do to store all of the extra wire from all of our power cables. So there's a bunch of wires tucked underneath of there to basically kind of wind them up and store them. Now I quickly mentioned that the cables right here that are coming out of that back leg are going to go to a road case rack, an 18U rack that's gonna come with me to my events with this table. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, well, why didn't you just build in the drive rack and everything into this actual table itself? Well, you guys gotta think about usability as a company. Instead of building in hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of electronics into this custom table right here, I'm gonna put them in a flight case rack, that way I can use it interchangeably at say our bigger production events where I don't need this table. So to give you guys a little breakdown, basically those XLRs and that power is gonna run back to the 18U rack Inside the 18U rack, we're gonna have a Furman power conditioner, which is gonna be feeding all of our power for our event. We're also gonna have two Audio-Technica wireless mics in there. We're gonna have record outs for videographers. We're gonna have a Shave Show Express box in there so that we can do all of our DMXing. Basically, it's gonna have all the audio stuff that we need, cables, mics, storage. It's all gonna be one nice road case, 18U road case that we're gonna roll into events along with this table. So I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering, does it collapse? Absolutely not. What you're seeing, this is solid. This is, this is, this is, this is solid. It's not going anywhere. I overbuilt this thing like you can stand on it if you wanted to. It's strong. But that does beg the question, how the f am I gonna transport this to all my weddings and my events? You do it with a custom built ginormous road case. Now I did end up building this whole thing myself as well because I, I pretty much knew how to do it and it saved me a lot of money, especially for how big this road case is. I mean, I don't think this is like giving you perspective, but like uh, this is me standing up beside it. It's like, it's tall. As you can see, it pretty much fits the table snug and that was by design. So here's the road case separated, just so you guys can see, this is the bottom that we kind of just basically lift this up and put it into, and then we put the lid on top. Now, one thing to point out real quick, as you can kind of see by the design of the table done on purpose, there is a bunch of room inside the road case underneath the table to store stuff, like my two JBL 15 inch subs. Now, yes, this whole entire table Road case, everything is nowhere near a one-man operation. It takes two people to be able to put this table. Well, I can kind of do it one person, but it takes two people to put this table up into the road case, and it, then it definitely takes two people to put this lid on and to take this lid off. So I don't have a second person here, so I'm going to send you out to an event we did where I will show you guys 
how we take the lid off, how we put the lid on, and show you how much storage we have underneath of this thing. Let's go to that. Nope, keep going. I don't know what that was. It didn't sound great. All right. Both of the JBL subs. Uh, this is the Yamaha mixer we had. Um, my little table thing, the mic rack. Um, this is the laptop stand tucked in between there. I threw one of the clamp cases and another one over there, some more mats. Tons of room to fit whatever you want in here, which is awesome. And now I will show you how we put the lid on. That's how it's done. Pretty dope, right? On Instagram, when I first was building this table and showing it to everyone, a lot of people were asking me a very common question, and that was, Rick, are you going to be using this for all of your events now? Like, it, this is going to be your permanent rig? And the answer is yes and no. By far, I want to use this at every single one of my events. But this thing is very limited. It needs to go in a giant road case. It needs a trailer to transport it. It can't go upstairs. We need to be able to wheel it into a venue. Therefore, site inspections prior to going to venues is very important, obviously. You should be doing that already, um, and I am already doing that. But that is why I still have the event table and my SZ for all those other events. Anyways, that's that's pretty much my new boo for 2020. It's gonna be nuts, it's gonna be crazy. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns on the new booth or just in general about DJing, please leave them down in the comment section down below. I answer every single one of you guys' questions. If you wanna ask more of a personal question, feel free to hit me up on Instagram at DJ Rick Webb. Also, give me a follow if you feel like it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turn on those post notifications so that way you see all the new videos and all the gig logs coming up with the new DJ booth. If you guys like the hoodie I'm wearing right now or this awesome I hate tear down DJ Life shirt. Feel free to check them out at shopdjlife.com. That is my clothing store. So you guys can go over there and buy yourself a nice hoodie, a shirt. We also got some stickers. It's pretty dope. But anyways, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys, oh yeah, hit, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. But anyways, guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. As always, keep them records spinning, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.